Hey folks, uh, today we're working on a 2006 uh, Honda Civic. Customer called me, said uh, the service engine light came on, as well as uh, where your drive range signal is uh, when you pull your car from park, reverse, neutral, drive, second, first. Uh, that drive light was actually blinking green. So I told him it was probably a transmission issue. Uh, that's the way Honda does it in, in those year cars. Uh, if there's uh, a transmission issue like that or, or a switch or whatever, uh, it'll put your service engine light on, plus it'll blink this green light by your, your range selector. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, have a look and see what we can diagnose and fix. First thing we're going to do here is turn the key on and uh, we're going to check and see what's going on. There's his uh, little green light he said he was having and uh, yeah, that is consistent with uh, a transmission code. So we're going to go ahead and scan it. I already plugged my little Bluetooth adapter under the dash. It's right up on the right hand side to the right of the steering wheel. Um, and here are our codes. P0847, transmission fluid pressure switch B, third clutch. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, set my lift up. It'll only be a second here, and we'll go ahead and lift it up. And uh, I know exactly what we need. We need a third pressure switch. I could go ahead and test it, but... Uh, it's a very common problem in these cars, so we're just going to go ahead and replace this one. As I'm 99% sure, that's the deal with this car. Super common problem. Uh, just like an oil sending unit in a lot of other cars. It's a, it looks the same. So that's the, the clip that's on there. And it's uh, squeeze it, pull it out, grab a 7 8 wrench. And, uh, yeah, go back to the car. It's not on there. Super tight. Shouldn't be. Um, get on it and give it a push. There we go. So this is the driver's side of the car, folks. And it's uh, the lowermost one. There's a little black wire with a red stripe on it. You can't miss uh, the location of this. It's, it's uh, super easy to see. Hard to film, but super easy to see. There it is again. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take take the old one out and put the new one in. You might you lose a, you know, a little bit of fluid here when uh, when you pull that out. Very, very little. It's uh, not enough to even worry about. You'll get a couple drops and that'll be it. Uh, screw your new one back in. Uh, get it decently tight with your fingers. Grab your 7 8 wrench, tighten it up again. Well, you can wipe that fluid off if you like so you don't get your hands full of it in your sleeves. And uh, yeah, get it finger tight. I don't know, give it a couple turns. Uh, super small uh, threads on the other side. So don't, don't uh, over tighten this. Just, uh, you know, not, not much at all. I don't know the torque specs on it. I didn't look up, but uh, as long as it's sealed and not leaking, you'll be good. Uh, go ahead and plug your your plug-in back in. Give her a good wipe again. Go ahead and let your car down, or if you're using jacks, you don't have to let it down. You can jump in, turn your key on. And uh, we'll see what happens here when we turn our key on. So we have no flashing green light, but we still have the service engine light. Well, I kind of figured that that would happen anyway. Uh, if you run the car for a while, once it goes through enough heat cycles, it'll shut that light out. But if you have a scanner, you can just go ahead and uh, erase that light. And that'll be it. Go.
going to erase it here. There we go. Lights are gone. That's it. Easy DIY for yourself, folks.